Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you this day. I worship you and I glorify you for the privilege of sharing your word. Use me as a vessel to be a blessing to your people and as you bless them, do not pass me by. How I pray that I may decrease as you increase and let this word come forth with power and anointing. Spirit of the living God, take over. I dip myself in the blood of Jesus. I saturate myself with the blood of Jesus so that I may be under the protection protection of this brother speaketh better things uh, and I come against the spirit of destruction that waste time. I cover even uh, the, the platform I'm using and I declare and decree that it's a holy ground at this particular time and my viewers and my listeners I commit them to thee dear Lord that they may be full of focus when they are listening to this word and feeling his Lord that they may benefit them my father not to be entertained but to be inspired and be encouraged in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Welcome to One Word TV. I am your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor of the program Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. I am broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, USA. And this is a production of One Word Digital Media, which is situated in Seattle, Washington. That is the power of technology. Today, I'm going to continue with what I started sharing yesterday. That is, fruits are very healthy and beneficial. This will be part two. And I felt like the Spirit of God was uh, encouraging me to do this. And I'm going to do the three. Uh, yesterday I did the first three. I'm going to do the second three. Tomorrow I'll do the last three. The two, the three for today. So you need to go back to yesterday so that you can catch up. Uh, let me just, this was from Galatians 5. Uh, and that was from uh, 16 to 22, uh, to 26. And I'm going to read that first 22 so that you catch up where we left it. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, and peace. That's what I covered yesterday. Today I'm going to cover wrong suffering, kindness, and goodness. In Jesus' name. Because fruits are beneficial, you need them. You cannot eat the carbohydrates and eat the proteins in your physical body and expect to be healthy all around. You need the three kinds of food. My brother, my sister, even as you need the food to grow, you need the education to further yourself. You need also the, uh, the, the mental. We, we, you know we are made in three well, dimensions. We have the spirit, we have the body, and we have the soul. We feed the mind by going to school. We feed the soul by getting the spiritual food. And we need the we, we, we feed the physical by eating the food that we normally eat physically. And so, because the fruits are beneficial and healthy, we after you have gotten uh, the first three, love, joy, and peace, then you'll have wrong suffering. That is to say you're going to suffer, not just short, but wrong. What does wrong mean? It's wrong. It's not short. When you are full of the Spirit of God, you'll be mature enough to suffer, to have wrong suffering. You'll suffer for a wrong time. You can suffer for many things, but because the Spirit of God is in you, who is like the aging in your heart, in your spirit, you will make it because you have the joy and the peace of God. The other one is kindness. Even after you have suffered wrong, you can afford to be kind. You can afford to be able to treat your enemy with integrity, not paying back evil for evil because God is the one who advocates for us. You leave the battle to the Lord because he is Jehovah Nisi. You be kind. The third one is goodness. Not only are you going to be kind, but you'll be good in all that you do. You can say, I'm good to God. You hear a word against you and say, I thank God because I know who I am and what I've been assigned to do. And that's why I like the singer who sang. My, please excuse me for those who don't understand this language because it comes out so nicely and so inspiring in my heart when I sing it in my mother tongue. There is a song I always like to sing and maybe if you have ever heard me, maybe things are going on long and I'll just get somewhere and just bust out in date and sing. Go man to tire dire no reaware ho ne dawe ware hiro ne jeso mona rabai ne karivari that is to say let the devil know that i have no debt we i have no debt for him to pay back 
Why? Because Jesus paid it all at the cross of Calvary. And of course, even in English, we have the song, Jesus paid it all. Jesus paid it all oh, to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain. He washes white as snow. Jesus paid it all for you. That is why when the Spirit of God is in you and you have this fruit, fruit of the spirit you'll be good to go you'll be healthy against the sicknesses just like we are healthy in the body and we are we are healthy against the uh, the, the sicknesses we are immune our we build our immunity in the physical in the same way when we are full of the spirit of god we will be our Im spiritual immunity will be strong and whatever come you can say jesus paid it all or you can say blessed be the name of the lord in the midst of chaos when things don't work, when you are catching a fright and then you are told it is delayed, that is not the time to start saying, oh, why did it happen this way? That is the time you start you know, meditating on what God wanted to plant in you when you are waiting there. Don't waste the time that is interrupted by things in the, in the marriages of life. Why? Because God created those moments for you so that you can experience something in the spirit. And that's why the Bible continues to tell us that all things Things, not some work together for good to them that love the Lord. So this day, my brother, my sister, how I pray that this, this spirit, fruit of the spirit, this three fruit of the spirit, that is wrong suffering, kindness, goodness will be you as even as you start of the day. I don't know what you could be going through. I don't know what could be ahead of you. But as long as the Spirit of God is in control, you'll be able to make it through knowing that the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, wrong suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And then the last part of that first says, again as such, there is no room. And then for Verse 24 says, for those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with his passions and desires. 25, if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. 26, let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. When you are full of the spirit of God, competition will not be in you in Jesus' name. You are not going to see Florence and wonder what the, whom does she think she is. How does she make this? You are not going to be wondering. You will be wondering how God can I go an extra mile to intercede for the widows, to pray for the fatherless, to be a mentor to that girl who doesn't have a mentor, to be a mentor to that young mother who is about to give up in her marriage because she thought when she said I do that it is just honey, honey, honey. I want to tell you marriage is not a bed of roses and I always say even if it was a bed of roses, roses are thorns. By the way, I have two roses. roses in my garden and I know what it means the, those when those flowers are smelling good when you get them you cannot miss a prick of the thorn that is how life is we are not promised a, a smooth way but God has promised to be with us that he'll never leave us nor forsake us may the Holy Spirit fill you my brother my sister so wherever you go through you'll be able to bear it knowing that God who has started the good work in you is not gonna leave it and complete he's God who specializes in completion of what he starts on. You are a child of God. And I would want to ask you, how do you walk? How do you live? How do you sing? How do you preach even myself? How do you walk? I walk in the spirit. How do you walk? I walk in the spirit. How do you walk? I walk in in the spirit for there's no condemnation in my heart therefore now no condemnation therefore now no condemnation therefore now no condemnation for there's no condemnation in my heart 
when you are full of the Spirit of God, whatever comes, you may hear things to put you down, but you'll be putting yourself up because you know there is a stretching out of the hand of God t holding you up. Not only holding you, he holds you with his victorious light hand and he walks with you hand in hand with Jesus. May the Lord bless you. Remember, fruits are healthy and beneficial. And this was part two. Tomorrow, I'll cover part three. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for your word. May it be a blessing to your people. May you continue to bless me through it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You are there. You have never accepted the Lord. You know yourself. Do you want to say this prayer after me so that you can be transformed and be able to walk in the spirit? Oh, you want to say this prayer? Father God, I come before you. I realize I need you, Lord, than never before. I give myself to you. Light my name in the book of life and give me a desire to walk with you, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. The old is gone and the new has come. Start walking in the newness of life. I also want to encourage you to look for a church nearby where you live that teaches the full gospel without compromise for your spiritual growth. Why? Because this is the full menu that you need for your spiritual growth. When you go there, desire to be a participator rather than a spectator. I love you and God loves you the most. Until next time, you can continue to listen to this message and other messages by different anointed servants of God by dialing 605-781-3266. You can also search One Word Miracle Radio that way using your smartphone. Download the app, One Word Digital Media. You'll be blessed 24-7. When you're blessed, be a blessing to other people by sharing. I also want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy so that you don't miss it. I know there is one uh, lady, Catherine Mwangi, I connected with on the media when I was in Seattle. I would also encourage you to be following us and we'll be able to continue connecting. Even for you who did not, uh, maybe uh, give me your contact. The Lord will bless you. Um, last but not least, I want to remind you, 14th of this month, Celebrate Your Moment is hosting a meeting just to encourage each other. And it's based on some. 31st 5 that weeping may enjoy for a night but joy come in the morning it's going to be held in Grace Fellowship uh, Brooklyn Park, Minnesota that is my home church, time will be 3 to 6.30 p.m. come we'll be blessed together, I can't just wait to see you there, I love you, God loves you the most, this is your home for spiritual guidance, your voice of hope be blessed <music>